To answer a recent text that we've just received, yes, we do read the messages and we love them. And yes, thank you person who gave me a point for that walking music. I indeed enjoyed doing it, so I get a point as well. So I'm going to start off. We're back with the first advert. Let's hear it. We all have our Everests, but this woman went on an epic journey in a catamaran. I just love catamarans. In a race to Malaysia. Yeah, <laughs> I'm twisting these words. This woman overcomes great storms and African pirates. Ah! She also must balance her home life as she tries to be a mother for four children. I love you, Johnny, Sam, Emily, and Pete. But lo, problems arise <gasps> as something, as the boat starts to sink. Quick, quick, we need help, we need help. Something's wrong with the hull of the ship. Perhaps even the subterfuge. subterfuge. <laughs> we'll never make it out. <laughs> you do not know what these words mean. Join us in Roman Polanski's epic new film, The Meaning of Words. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I want to go see that film. So I'm giving points to both Mike and Gabby for that wonderful performance. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Oh, that's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, no. Dan and Tim, let's see if I want to watch this film. Coming 2012. In a world where children have tiny hands that do good work. If we can finish making all these wigs, the Vietnamese will let us go free. <laughs> the Asian haberdashery market controls all. With all these wigs, we could just finish working and then we will live in a world of wigs. But then a lone pediatrician comes out of the darkness into the light to help save their souls. I will come out of the light and save your souls. In a world <laughs> where this pediatrician is told that children cannot be allowed to not work. You cannot work. Thank you. Jason Statham is four years old with a gun. Bang! <laughs> Helen Mirren is the sympathetic female character. Hello, I'm sympathetic and regal. And Alan Rickman is anyone evil, anyone at all, really. Anyone, anyone that's even slightly sinister can be Alan Rickman. Yes. In this world, a world with Alan Rickman, Helen Mirren, Jason Statham, and the voiceover guy from every advert, we can build a better future. Coming 2012. My hands hurt, please let me go. That was, um, that was impressive, all right, well done. Points for you, you two as well. well, well that done. do. I loved that very much. I think I'll go see that film because I enjoy Alan Rickman very much. With his long pauses. I'll get you, Robin of Sherwood. I love love him. Right, let's all let's all we take a take a deep breath <coughs> as we're about to play Reductions. Oh, it's me again, is it? <laughs> Everyone has their favourite film or a film that they know very well. They're going to perform it for us in thirty seconds, then in fifteen, and then in five. We're going to start with Tim, and your film is Ghostbusters. All right, thirty seconds starting. Now. Ooh, oh my god, we're all quite poor, but we're all very smart. I have tenure. What's that? Let's go to the library. Ghosts in the library? Holy mother! Oh god, I've lost my job. We've all been fired. Hang on a minute. Do you think there might be cash in ghosts? Oh god, we've gone into a hotel and we've ruined it. Sigourney Weaver is really hot. Zool! Oh my god, she lives in a satanic building full of ghosts and monsters. Oh my god, there's a man in a taxi cab and he's also a zombie. Marshmallow man! Explosion! Everything is fine. Nicely done. That was exactly 30 seconds. Good. I was worrying towards All right. Know. Let's have 15 seconds starting now. I'm all smart but poor. I need a book. Ghosts. Ah, I've got fired. Oh my God. There's cash in ghosts. I can make some wedge. 
Um, where am I? Ah, oh, this hotel is great. No, I've ruined it. Sigourney Weaver, it's hot zool. Satanic building, marshmallow and explosion. Hooray. Well done. That was just 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, hang on. Give me a minute. Are you ready for five seconds? I can do this. And go. Smart, poor, library, fire, cash, hotel, Sigourney Weaver, it's hot zool. Stop. <laughs> explosion. <laughs> Nicely done. Well done, Tim. Right, that's points for you and a point for Sam for that adorable laugh. And we're going to move on to Dan. What film have you chosen? Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Just the first one. Good idea. Just the first one. All right, in 30 seconds, starting now. Oh, Will! Pout. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm a pansy. And then, uh, Will- Elizabeth gets captured by zombie pirates. Jeffrey Rush, you'd best start believing in ghost stories. Miss Turner, you're in one. Go after them with Jack. Da, 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 They take the ship, and Steve from Company is chasing after them. Tortuga, mutton chops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lots of trickery in shoes. I'm dishonest, and a dishonest man, you can always trust to be dishonest, honestly, except for the honest ones, because you got to watch out when they do something tremendously stupid. Hooray! Everyone lives happily ever after. Okay. Mutton chops. He's the... <laughs> He is the best pirate you've ever heard of. All right, Dan, 15 seconds, starting now. Pout, pansy, chasing zombie pirates, ghost stories, you're in one, mutton chops, tortuga, um, dishonest ones, trickery, dishonesty, except honestly when they're doing something tremendously stupid, fall in the water, sail away, best pirate you've ever seen. Nicely done. All right, and now in five seconds, go. Pouting, pansy, mutton chops, dishonesty, best pirate you've ever seen. <laughs> that, that was three seconds, Dan, do you want to add something? Why is the rum gone? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> that takes us up to five seconds. Points for Dan, because I enjoyed that very much. And a point for Sam, because his chuckle kept up. All right, Gabby. Um, would you like to inform our dear audience of what film you chose? Love Actually. Which has how many separate storylines? <laughs> a fair few. Right. <laughs> you can do it, Gabs. Okay. 30 on. seconds, cool. starting... Now. Love actually really is all around us in Heathrow Airport. And Colin goes off to America, of course, with his bags full of goodies. Liam Neeson and his son, well, he helps his son to fall in love with this girl by playing the drums. Something a bit like some big opera singer. Then Hugh Grant, who's Prime Minister, doesn't really like be- doing it that much. And then he falls in love with this girl who lives in Wandsworth, where also his sister lives, Emma Thompson, who's in- married to Alan Rickman, who's cheating on her with some girl in a turtleneck who eats muffins. And then you've got Rowan Atkinson putting stuff into a bag. And then Bill Knightley, who sings a song with his fingers. And then Martin Freeman doing some epic porn with this other girl. Stop! Like, ah! That was 30 seconds. Oh, I think we just about got all the plots in there, actually. Oh, nice I missed Colin. Colin. No, Colin. Colin. You got him at the start. beginning. <clears throat> all right. Colin Firth. Oh. You might die by the end of this. 15 seconds starting now. Love, Colin goes to America. Q Grant falls in love with this girl. Um, 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 Neeson and his son play the drums. Rowan Atkinson's in there. Bill Knightley's singing a song. Colin Firth thinking of Meijing, learning how to speak Portuguese. And then Martin Freeman's doing a porn scene with someone else. And everything is just going amazing. And Kira Knightley starts <laughs> again, Mary. <sighs> Gabby? Yeah. Five seconds. Um, everyone take a step back. All right. They use this as torture in Guantanamo. <laughs> Are you ready, Gabby? Mm. Starting now. Love, UK, USA, France. Love is actually all around in Heathrow Airport. Stop. <laughs> that wasn't even one story. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, you know, those were the important bits. Well done to Gabby. You get two points. One for doing it well, and the second just, just for the energy that you gave. I think From, you deserve a sit down. From the violent gesture of Sam, I assume there has been a goal in the football match. Yeah, he's watching. Ah. Sam. Tottenham Hot Spurs Take versus the Arsenal. Take a point off you. And Mike, what film have you chosen? I've chosen three films, Becky. Because <laughs> I like a challenge. Oh, right. You didn't just see Mike's what happened awesome to Gabby there, did you? It's hard, Mike. It's really... <laughs> Good okay. luck, buddy. Are you ready, Mike? Yeah. 30 Star seconds Wars starting... Episode 4, 5 and 6. Starting now. Whoa, why are there flying letters? Ah, spaceship. <laughs> Crash landing, robots, why the hell are they here? Save the princess! Guy with small dreams taken away by old man. Uh, metaphor for terrorism. <laughs> Blows up a giant space structure. Then the bad guys get really pissed. And then they attack. And everything's cold, but then they get better. They meet a small, um, a small wrinkly green muppet. Possibly Kermit in 900 years. And then Stop. they can destroy another one. 
<laughs> well, that went well, Episode Mike. Episode six summed up in total by, and then they go and destroy another one. <laughs> yes. Someone sent in a message saying, good luck, Michael, and I, I think you needed all the luck you could get there. Can you make it in 15 seconds? Of course I can. <laughs> all right. You ready? Starting now. Flying letters, terrorism, and small, small comet, ancient comet, and hoth and cold things, then teddy bears out of nowhere, ruining films, destroy another space structure, more terrorism. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and can you do it in five? <laughs> yep. All right, Mike. Um, good luck. Give him a hug, Gabby. I- it's okay, Mike. We're all here for you. Okay. All right, Mike. Five seconds. Starting now. Flying letters. Oh, my God. Terrorism. All sorts of other weird magic and Stop. thoughts. <laughs> Nicely done. And uh, Tim's in a... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>